What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and by popular demand, guys, we're hopping into the another team skill, team building, I didn't mean to say team skill, team building video. Yes, I got a huge pimple on center of my forehead and I popped it, and now it just won't go away. It's going to probably be a scar, but I don't really care about that. We're hopping into the team um, building video. Now, you guys, by popular demand, you guys requested the God Goku. Now, I didn't want to do the one with the higher um, attack, simply because... I would have built a team similar to the Blue Goku team simply because the Blue Goku did not have that much speed. So I would have had to build it around the team with a lot of speed. But in this case, he has 4,000 speed, guys. So when I think about this, patching his gaps would be like the defense buff, right? Because you don't need to buff his attack because he's getting a 700, 700 attack right off the bat. 700 own attack. 160 to attack to all allies. So he's buffing everybody's attack. Plus, he gets his own plus 5% to own damage out, which will be key in the later rounds, considering he's going to be hitting a tad bit harder every round, considering he's getting that plus 5. So, say a, say a fight goes three, 3 turns, he's already getting a natural 15%, regardless of you putting anybody else in with him, right? So, this is what I was thinking. The defense is, it, eh, unless you can hide him in that back left slot, he's okay, right? Unless you go first as well. But, here's what I was thinking. You need somebody to pair with him to do decent amount of damage at the same time. So I had one idea by one idea in mind when I thought of this is he's an SR. And you know what you guys are thinking, Mugs, who would you put it as an SR? Him. He's one of my favorite SRs in the game. He's probably my favorite SR in the game besides the Lord Slug. Who else would I who else would I think about when it comes to SRs? Really nobody else. There's really nobody else besides you. Like the Frost is amazing. Plus, I need to do an extreme battle video. I need to do him simply because he's a beast, bro. Like, when you put him in the back slot, he's amazing. But we're not talking about Super Saiyan Goku. We're talking about God Ku. Now, when I, you put the SR on the team, boom, right there. So you have already 6,760 speed without get anybody buffs of speed, which I'm not going to have any buff buffing of the speed. Another thing I was thinking is you could put another figure in there to either buff the speed and go first or make your team go second. So, the one thing I was thinking about is, where is she? I was thinking about putting the Vados on there, simply because these two together make everybody hit so soft. Like, nobody else will be hitting that hard, considering she does have the ult uh, gauge down too, but you want to like keep her off the field unless you want to use her that effectively. But him in the back left slot is what, so his trigger squares are the back left and the top, the middle, right? So, bottom left is where I mostly will run him, and then you put him in the front, or you could put him next to him, but I would like to run him in the front, in front of Godku, to hide him a little bit, because he does get that plus 1,000 to own speed, and minus 1,000 to all attack, and then hers is, place on a trigger score for minus 30% to attack to all opponents on the field, so... The combination of the Vegeta and the Vados is disgusting. I think I already have a team with that. Yeah, right there is a team where I try to get Rosé's attack high, which you can get Rosé's attack pretty high if they focus on trying to get rid of the Rosé, which they're going to figure out what you're doing, which you're going to either try to get rid of the Rosé or just ignore the Rosé, right? But these two, these three right here will produce 7,000, 10,000 speed basically, right? 3,700, yeah. They will produce about... 10,000 speed, which is amazing. So the next thing I'm thinking is you have this rota this as a as a turn, which is very defensive, but at the same time you're allowing those two to do major damage because he has 4,660 attack, which is more than him, but he's going to get a 700 attack buff at the beginning of the turn, but he's giving the Vegeta also another 160, guys. But next thing I'm thinking is the defense, you got him covered. As long as you hide him, it's all right. I was thinking about another unit just in case you want to get a little more offensive with the team is the Broly. Now I'm not going to run that Broly because I do not have him at level I do not have him at level 99, which I will try and get all of my URs to level 90. It's obviously going to take me some time, take me grinding and all that stuff, but look at this. Boom. This this will be ri ridiculous if you get this off, right? So, you have the Vegeta. You could either put the Vegeta in the middle back right next to the god Q, and then you have the god Q in the back left and then you have the um piccolo in the back on the top left which is trigger squares are obviously top left and top right i didn't go over this but the vados in the top right vegeta in the back top left and back middle his already said and then his are the top left and top right which i just said and his posing skill is so good guys place on a trigger square for plus 15 percent to ultimate attack Gauge at the end of turn repeatable and plus 10% damage dealt and minus 10% damage taken that turn only. 
place after three turns for plus 30% damage dealt and minus 30% damage taken. That right there is ridiculous because say you don't even want to run the God Q on a rotation, you could put the Broly right there, top left. Put the Vegeta back, uh, the middle back, right? So the back middle. And then her in the top right, he is going to take absolutely no damage because he already gets that minus 10% damage taken. Not to mention, say they have 6,000 attack. I think I used this example in the Rosé video. The Vados is lowering the, the attack by 30%. So that is 2,000 attack right there. Then he already does lowers another 1,000. So this is all that turn only. So they're going to get it back. But the next turn, if you keep them going, they're just going to keep getting their attack lower and you can just keep doing major damage. They're getting another 1,000 attack lower, which is 3,000. They're getting, say they're 6,000 attack. So say Broly is on the field with them. He he already has only 3,750, which he's not going to be hitting that hard then, but he, it's still Broly, but still. So also the speed is going to be a very big issue with this rotation because you're only going to have 5,000, 6,000 almost, and then 8,000. You're going to have maybe 9,000 speed tops, depending on what happens. So this could be like a death rotation because... Him in, the, him in the top left, him in the middle, and then him in the top right. Right there across the row is going to get you basically 10,000 speed or look close to 10,000 speed. Or you could get rid of her and then just do another big attacker, which one in mind I was thinking about is the hit. Now, I know what you're thinking. He has no speed. Now, I was thinking about speed figures. Now, you don't need to have a lot of speed because he has so much HP going for him. So, put him in the top left. By the way, posing skill, the greatest assassin. Place on a trigger square for plus 500 to own attack repeatable. And attacked opponent's defense drops to zero until the end of turn, guys. His HP and his attack are ridiculous. Like, that's in one turn, he's going to have 7,000 attack. And then if you put him on a rotation with the God Coup, he's going to have another 160. So, he's going to have about 700 and like 7,170 attack, right? And then you have him on him on the back left, which he's going to get over 5,000 attack again, which is ridiculous. And then you can put him in the middle. So you have him in the back left, him in the top left, and then him in the back left, which is ridiculous. I'm saying a lot of directions and stuff, like I'm directing traffic, guys. But I don't mean to confuse you sometimes because I just I'm all over the place sometimes. I like to have my thoughts light, nice and concise sometimes. And this allows me to do it by talking about this. And I have like a way of like a direction for the video. Now, another figure I was thinking about putting in with him. And he could be on every team. And he was in the last video. And he is dead center of the screen right now. Is the future Gohan. Now, when you put these two on a rotation together, it is so hard to go first. Like right here is 10,000 speed. No matter what you could put these two on the field and beat most of some rotations, most other opponents, just because of that, but you're going to take major damage because you can't really hide him very well. You can't hide him with the God Q. They share a trigger square, but the Gohan has the top right trigger square. I'm not going to go over his posing skill because I've said it a million times. I feel like in the past, my phone was going off, and it was Siri. I don't understand how Siri got turned on, guys. I saw it in the I saw it out of my peripheral, and I was like, "What is going on?" All right, back to where it is. Plus, he has alt gauge lowering because you put him in the back left, he might not get attacked. Plus, if you hide him, it's all right. And if you put him in the if you don't even put him on the field, it'd be all right. So right here, twelve thousand speed between these three people. Actually, thirteen thousand speed between these three people. Right? Insane. Same thing here. Because he has more speed than... Actually, he's not going to have more speed because of his posing skill getting 1,000. But right there is 12,000. He's going to have another 13,000 speed. This is insane. So right here is about 12,000, maybe 13,000 between these two. Um, between these three. Broly, the Gohan, and then him. You could put him in the top left, him in the back left, and then him in the middle. Now, if you're worried about your master's HP getting lowered... You can put another person in the back right, which I have an idea, which is insane of a figure. Haven't done it in a while, so I'm going to replace the Vegeta with him because if, if they're interchangeable, they have basically the same stats, but one position skill supports the team overall with the plus 1,000, minus 1,000 to attack is the Big Bang Vegeta. And he's an OG unit from the first batch of figures, which I, I chased him as well because I people were destroying me with him, and it's because of his posing skill. is just ridiculous. 
Place on a trigger square for plus 1,000 to own attack, so he's getting 5,560 attack already. No other buffs. Stacks during that turn only, and minus 700 to defense attack to... Minus 700 to attack opponents, preventing them from switching turns. So he doesn't do anything else. That is amazing, because... But the chances are, if you attack him, he might not survive. But here's what I was thinking, guys. You could put him in the middle or the back right. Those are his trigger squares. So, they're right there. Boom. You put him and him already on a rotation, that is 10,000 speed right there. So you could put him in the top right, which I know what you're thinking, why would you put him up front? It's all right, guys, calm down. And then you put him in behind him, which is 10,000 speed, him dead center. Or you could do him in the middle, him, him bottom right, him bottom left. If you want to go all across the board, and there's a chance that go future Gohan might get taken out. Or, guys, you can do something similar. I'm going to put a fourth. I'm going to put a fifth person in there just to spice things up. Now, I know what I said earlier saying Hit doesn't have a lot of speed. But at the same time, it, it's not bad. I don't want you. I want the higher one. There you go. The 99 is what I want to see, guys. So, him in the top left could be amazing. And then future Gohan in the top right. And then the Big Bang Vegeta in the middle, you're going to get about 11,000 speed. You do, not have, you do not have to worry about going second because there's some people that base their team off of speed, which I do like sometimes like, um, where's the team? Right here is a prime example, guys. So like I was saying earlier, him 4,000, 6,000. That's 12,000 speed. That's another 12,000 speed. And then if you have the Bardock boosting, it's insane. But that's 11,000 speed between Future Gohan, God Q, and the Bardock guys. Which, sorry if I don't want... I don't want to make these videos too long, guys. But the bottom line is... He, he, him on any team is broken. But the fact that he has 4,000 speed is a, such a good, like, middle range. He doesn't have too little speed. He doesn't have a ridiculous amount. But if I go into the speed... The speed, what's it called? So we're descending. He's in the top 10. Like, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, that's insane. I was thinking about putting Super Saiyan 4 Goku in there as well because he also is a very good partner for the God Fuse. So, say I wanted to take out the Hit because Hit has a lot of HP, and if you wanted the HP, you could go with the HP. Where is he? Where is the, where is the Goku? There he is. So, you have him in the top right, which you don't have to worry about him getting taken out because he has a lot of HP, plus he does... Gain 10% to own damage dealt and plus 20% to own attack damage, the ultimate attack damage, but that's over time. And then minus 10% damage dealt by all opponents on the field, repeatable. So everybody's getting hit, l getting hit like less, like nobody's taking that much damage. So you have him in the top right, 4,000 speed. Future go, I mean, uh, God Q in the middle, that's 8,000 speed right there. Then you can put the Broly in the top left, that's 10,000 speed, guys. But overall, this is what the team would look like. They're interchangeable. Like, you could put the hit in for that extra insane attack boost, or you can put the Vegito in. It all depends on who you have. Me, personally, I would not want to put him in there because he he's not lowering anybody's attack. He's only doing stuff for himself. Plus, he's trapping people. But I'd rather do this. This would be an insane team right there, guys. But basically, all Saiyans. Some of these teams are going to be all Saiyans because Saiyan characters are just stupid. Like, that's a hybrid team. That's a hybrid team. That's an all-hybrid team, which I plan on doing later. But... That is an all-saying team as well, guys, with with two high, three hybrids. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me go back to the screen. This is what the team would look like because you got to base it around something, which I'm basing it around speed and survivability in terms of hiding people and just lasting long in fights. But you're going to take some master damage, like master's uh, damage. But he's going to patch gaps because minus 10% damage dealt by all opponents. You keep him on the field for a long time, and he is able to do amazing things for the team, considering he does hide in the back left, I mean the back middle, and the top right. So you could put him behind the god Q in the middle, and then you could put like a Broly or him in the top left, which would make the team tank very well. But guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to all of you that commented god Q. So many of you did, and I was like... Uh-oh, here we go. This team is going to be insane. More insane than the Blue Goki team, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Do-do-deuces, everybody. Thank you for the support, guys. I'm growing every day. Keep it up, and I'll keep it up.